You ready? defense on the single leg attempt there. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. And there comes the separation now. Head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where, well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you going to shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early goal. Sometimes taking that shot too early can find you can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do. And now she's working on a choke here potentially. Staying busy. Right the side control, yep. Well, Nami Yunus is looking for an arm bar here. Attack an arm bar. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. Trying to double up on that jab. Just unable to quite find that range. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Alright, sit down. Breathe. Get some water. Relax. Now listen, that was awesome. Really good work. Way to control from the top. And you did a work to pass. Alright, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. All right, here we go as the next round gets underway. Great to have you with us tonight, and great to see her striking get to the next level here tonight. Just an absurd number of total strikes landed in that previous round. Every fight, she improves in terms of her technique. But every fight she has told us she's going to put out more activity. That round was definite, definite proof that she's ready to stick by her word. Punch over the top. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Both fighters throwing heat now. Fantastic. Working on a guillotine. She can't hold you down. Get up. Get up. Nicely done. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Nama Yunus is back in half goal. 
three minutes remain in the round. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, and she gives up her back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. You could get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Yes, she's very dangerous from the top. She's so good at controlling the hips. She's so good at just being aware and taking it. Nama Yunus is looking to lock up an arm bar here. is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. And under a minute now to go in the round. So we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but 52 total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. And the connection rate, DC, pretty good as well, landing at a 63% clip against Tatiana Suarez. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. Well, in the men's game or in the women's game, the execution on a double leg takedown doesn't get a whole lot better than that. It does not get much better than what we just saw. Her confidence in finishing the shot is unmatched. She keeps taking you down, it's over. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? Go Third round ahead. underway. Let's go, Let's go. Oh, oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Nice punch by Rose Namajunas. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Oh! So we call on the numbers here. 40 total strikes have now landed for Tatiana Suarez. And connecting with 65% accuracy against Rose Namajunas. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Again, she All chooses right, so she to finally clinch gets here. the takedown here after many failed attempts. Obviously, she was not discouraged, stayed committed. Now she has the fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Let's see what she can do. They continue to exchange. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Takedown defense holds up. What a punch. Pushing forward now with hands and gets the takedown. She's got one of the best arm bars in the business going for it now. You gotta be careful, arm bar. So she appeared to be fending off the arm bar, and then she just used her power and exploded her opponent down to the ground. While well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. 
One of, one of the best female fighters. All right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. And attack an arm bar. All right, so the women go the distance here tonight, entertaining fight throughout. And she really got it done with her striking, I think. She got it done with her stand-up. That's what she's known for. It's her calling card. It's exactly what we come to expect when this young lady steps into the octagon, throwing her punches and punches, landing beautiful kicks. What a great performance. All right, the official decision the is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. For decision. All three judges score this contest for 9.28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Fog Rose Narayuna! Watch right, so the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight and it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter, so the finish did not present itself. So what did she do? She dominated from start to finish and gets a unanimous